Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 2! Oops. <laughs> I've missed, I messed up my uh, save state location how to load the stupid thing. Uh, uh, wow, words! They're a little too difficult for me today. Alright, so we're here in the Oil Ocean Zone. Also one of my favorite zones, though not as good as Mr. K. But I like that, you know, kind of Arabian-ish. It's at least got an Arabian influence to it. But the music to this place. Um, these guys, I, I don't know what their name is. I know all enemies have names, it's just those guys, I don't remember what their name is. I'm sure it has something to do with the fact that they're Octopi. But, um, if you hit them on their, like, spinning bottom part thing, their tentacles, um, it'll hurt you, so don't do that. Oh, and these seahorse guys, I, I kind of forgot about these seahorse guys. They do that. And if you jump down here, it's a little shortcut, I think. Or I'm totally screwing up and I have no idea where I'm going, you know. Could be one or the other, really. Alright, well, these lifts will just take you up and, you know, do lift things. That's what they do. Go up this. Find that guy. And we'll head on up here. Uh, stupid fans. But they will turn off eventually, so no harm done. First checkpoint! Okay. Um, I believe if you hit that green fire stuff, that'll also hurt you. That's <laughs> all so the spikes next to it. Very, very great, uh, going there, Seiji. Alright, well, nothing we can do about it, just gotta keep on moving forward. So, how's everyone doing? Today, today is November 20th, which means that Persona 4 The Golden comes out. And if I had any money, I would totally go and get it. However, I need to wait until Friday, so Dad will um, lend me money for it. But I'm still pretty excited about it. And as long as I make sure to tell GameStop that um, I'm going to pick it up on Friday, my pre-order bonus should be still applicable. Huh, that's odd. You could totally skip that lift altogether. Now these things are pretty interesting. They'll send you along the pre predetermined path. Never know when it'll end, if ever. Okay. And I think, I swear that's designed specifically just to waste most of your invincibility. Oh crap. Alright, well, no big deal. Ooh. Almost landed on the spikes there again, though. I'm doing a really good job of that uh, here in this oil ocean zone, aren't I? Now, interestingly enough, that oil down there isn't actually insta-kill in this zone, man. What are you doing? How did I not get hit there, actually? Good question. Oh, we finished the stage. Yay! Act 1. And we get 6,700 more points. Not bad. I would have preferred to have 100 rings, but that would also mean I get an extra life. Alright, Act 2. Now, as I was, saying, I was saying before though, that oil won't actually instant kill you. Like lava and bottomless pits and the like. Instead, you get to struggle against it for like, um, quite a few minutes actually. <laughs> uh, uh, there you go. The green fire does indeed hurt you. Also, if you take the thing up into this thing, it'll launch you into more of these checkered orb whatchamacallums. And this little thing will have that spike thing going across it. Obviously, don't hit it. Pushing against this thing will spring you off. I don't know how you're supposed to hit that one. Not that I see any reason to do that. These things are really slow if you get hit by that. Um, that's, that's pretty sad, actually, I have to say. Of 
course I say that and I'm going to get hit by one later, just to make myself look stupid. But such is the life, such is the curse, the Elbeer's curse. Hang on. Um, I will say though that uh, this week we have an interesting challenge coming up in the El- uh, good job Tails. Um, the LP Olympics 2. We have to play Super Mario RPG. I've never played that game before, but I've found that I'm actually really good at timing, like, super jump and stuff. I'm glad that thing has a bit of a platform next to it, so that you don't just instantly die. Uh, you can't go up slides, so don't bother trying. Because Sonic will go into, like, a sliding animation, and well, he can't move when he's doing that. Whoa! The enemy placed in, in any of the Sonic games, really, um, is always designed so that you... See what I said about running into this? But, um, so that y the enemies are in the most inconvenient place possible. And I mean, I realize that's the point, but, yeah. If you go up here after that first slide, you can get, uh... No, I need to get up there. Ah, uh, crap. Well, if you can get up the second one, uh, there's a checkpoint waiting for you. Unfortunately, we didn't get that, so we'll go into this boss fight without the checkpoint. Alright, now this boss is a submarine. I should not have done that. Now, the easiest way I've always found to dodge that stupid thing is just to sit here and jump in the oil for a bit. Tails will usually get hit by this laser. And normally, you know, you are supposed to, like, dodge that and stuff, but I prefer just taking the easy way out. Just sit here, hit him a few more times, and, uh, repeat the process. Yeah, yeah, this is a little cheap, but it's the best way I know of beating this one. So really, this shield is kind of useless with this method. That laser will always fire three times, and once it's gone... Robotnik appears and only takes seven hits unless Tails got one when I wasn't looking. Huh. But I think, if I remember correctly, there's a zone coming up that's going to be its own video in terms of how long it is. Am I correct? I am indeed correct. So, that's all for this episode of Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Join me next time when we head through the Metropolis Zone. Another zone I am pretty fond of. Until then, later guys.